that. I mean, if we look at earnings from like really the large AI players, they surpassed for the most part already elevated expectations. Do you think that that tech leadership can persist or are you looking for more areas that are miss, maybe not yet fully reflective of the AI trend? So medical innovation, healthcare devices, legal sector, like are you looking for pockets or tech leadership as a way to play that AI trend now? Yeah, but I, so basically we've been overweight technology. It's been a good thing this year and uh, in the larger names um, because we thought there are both, you know, cyclical, <clears throat> I mean, secular tailwinds as well as cyclically, right? These firms are very um, well capitalized. They, you know, they are very good, you know, kind of a higher quality and so forth. So, so we, we thought, we think that, you know, although the price is, very expensive and it's very uncomfortable. It was mentioned in the earlier session around technology and what the PEs are. But again, I've been long enough in the industry that valuations can be extended for a long time before they mean revert. And unfortunately, valuation payoff comes in chunks and can be negative payoff for a couple of years before it mean reverts. So we still think there is more room to run although we're not as excited as we were, obviously, after the rally. Um, so there are definitely pockets, our underlying managers, I don't allocate to individual stocks, uh, but our managers are looking for things that are obviously not as expensive and have still pockets of, of value in, 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 in within the secular trend. And I think there was a really interesting chart that kind of was making the rounds throughout this year, and that was the decoupling of rates versus like tech stocks. We've seen, you know, rates continue to march higher, but yet tech stocks rose, rose as well alongside. So Ira, I want to kind of bring you into this. We briefly mentioned geopolitical fragmentation. And I think an interesting trend that has struck me is that we have seen China continue to offload their US Treasury holdings at the same time where really the fiscal challenges of the US are coming back on the radar of investors, which ultimately could lead to this higher rates environment carrying over through, through the next uh, coming years. Are you of this view as well that this is the secular, the start of a secular trend playing out? Or how do you decipher between kind of these cyclical and secular trends within this? Well, so those are two different questions. So yes. one's on the demand side, one's on the supply side effectively, right? So let's talk about the demand side quickly. This idea that the China and other central banks are going to be offloading their treasury holdings, that's true to some degree, although not to the extent that I think that the, the headline will, uh, all the headlines suggest, number one. Number two is even though central banks and some sovereign wealth funds are divesting a little bit from treasuries, in particular they were doing this when uh, they were trying to defend their own currencies uh, when the dollar was strengthening so much, they were selling uh, dollars and buying their home currency, so, so it was actually reserve management management was the reason they were doing it. Um, and also, China and most central banks don't own a lot of a lot of market risk. They own short-term treasuries. They own two-year treasuries, one-year treasuries, T-bills. They don't own a lot of market risk. Who's buying? There's still a ton of investors from overseas. Foreign private investors are still net buyers of treasuries. It's a lot lower this year than it was a year ago or in 2021, but they're still net buyers. And those investors tend to buy longer duration, longer, uh, more, much more market risk than central banks do. So on the on the demand side, from from the for, from the foreign perspective, it's more of a push than it really is divestiture. On a notional basis, foreigners haven't been buyers of long-term treasuries treasury debt for seven years. So what? It's all been domestic. Now, part of that's because the Fed's bought everything in sight, right? So we, I admit that. Um, and that's obviously changed a little bit. But when we talk about the supply side, where so our forecast is for $2 trillion deficits basically for the next three years, um, which is, you know, eyes pop out and everyone says, oh my God, who's going to buy all this stuff? Um, well, part of the reason that there's going to be all of this uh, this deficit is because of some of the things you mentioned. We mentioned before about Social Security. Uh, when you go back 20 years, the majority of the population wasn't retired. That's shifting now, today, in the last couple of years. You had Social Security, Medicare, and interest on the public debt 25 years ago was under a quarter of all federal spending. Today, it's almost half. 
So in the last 20 years, it's doubled. And the, so, so the reason that we have to issue all of this debt is basically the pay for the baby boomers for tiring and for their health care. Um, that, that's, that's a large portion of the reason why we have to issue this debt. And the second is, quite frankly, I, I'm not going to call it fiscal mismanagement, but it's a choice that Congress has made to continue to spend a lot of money and not raise taxes. Um, so, you know, we, we always talk about, you know, the, the Republicans seem to be fiscally responsible, but only when it's politically prudent for them, because in 2017, the Republicans voted for massive tax cuts that increased the deficit massively, and then the Democrats added on to that by, by uh, deficit spending even more with other fiscal plans, including things like the Inflation Reduction Act, which, by the way, probably in the near term is actually helping keep inflation a little bit higher because they're spending a lot of money. Longer term, I think you can argue that it probably will help. Uh, things like infrastructure spending tend to be deflationary, but only in the long term. So, uh, so I do think that there's these two trends, right, demand and supply trends that are both probably at the margin going to keep things higher. So the framework and the way that we're thinking about deficits and how they'll affect markets is the Treasury market will continue to be pro-cyclical with the economy. So when the economy's weaker, inflation trends a little bit lower, Treasuries will rally, but maybe they won't rally as much as they would if the debt burden was much lower. And then conversely, sell-offs when uh, inflation moves up and, and the growth is higher uh, will wind up being worse, right? So, so instead of being at 2% uh, treasuries, maybe we're at two and a quarter. Instead of being at 5% treasuries, maybe we're at five and a half, right? That's uh, in, in a good time. So, so when we think about the, the debt burden, it just, it just kind of moves up. If you were to do a model, it basically moves up your intercept by you know, some margin. And we don't know what that margin is yet. Over time, we'll be able to use some of our own AI and ML models and stuff like that to try to determine it. Um, but that's, that's how we're thinking about that framework right now. And I know you're kind of producing your Q4 outlooks right now. Excellent research available on the Bloomberg Terminal. What could I maybe quickly ask you what your 10-year target, 10-year US Treasury target yield is a year from now? Yeah, so our end of 2024 target is uh, is a little over 3%, so we're still looking for about 125 basis point rally. Now, that's predicated on our economics team's outlook that we're going to have a recession in 2024. Um, so assuming we have a recession, then yields are going to be lower. That's not, um, I, I think, really saying a whole lot. You're talking about 100 base, 125, 130 basis point rally from where we are today. I mean, we just sold off 70 basis points in like two months. Is the, the, If we rally 150 basis points in a year, that would not be a shock.